Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Eddie Harvey here from TradeWithEd.com. All right, guys, Forex trend trading. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so when, when you're trading Forex, uh, there are different types of strategies, different type of traders, uh, and, and methodology, uh, methodology and things of that sort, right? Uh, well, with trading, you've heard in Forex, uh, one of the big things people say is that the trend is your friend. You want to trade with the trend, never trade against the trend. Uh, so, with that being said, guys, uh, the thing about with trading the trend is that you can collect multiple pieces uh, of of a move, of a trade, uh, depending on your strategy, the way you trade, you set yourself up to catch multiple pieces of a trade uh, and can catch it when it's in a buy and when it's in a sell. So, just looking at this here, this is the uh, great... Britain uh, pound versus New Zealand dollar. As you can see here, you had a movement up here. Then we had a lot of consolidation, right? Then price started trending down. This is the gap right here where the market uh, uh, was closed and opened back up, trending down, uh, up and down, and now it's looking like it's, it's going back up. So just looking at this, you're like, well, how do I know where to catch what in all of this, right? So to make things clear, it's all about catching different pieces of the move. So for me, uh, today I caught um, uh, the trend. I caught uh, the trend going down, and then I caught it uh, when it started trending back upwards, when it broke and went from a downtrend back into an uptrend. So if you look here, guys, this is where it started out as a uh, consolidation. Then it broke out, uh, never dropped like down here below this lowest level of support. And I'm doing this both the, both the way I trade. So I, I trade using support and resistance, and uh, I like trapping price. So looking right here, this consolidation. It didn't break lower than this lowest level of lowest level of support right here, right? So price never came. It tested, and this this is why this is a very strong level of support right now. Uh, you can see it came and tested on all of these different candles, right? It tested a little bit, then it shot back up. So what happened here is that um, if you look in this area here. You'll see uh, price moved up, right? Boom, 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 boom. Moved to the upside. Boom, went to a little consolidation. Shot back up. Shot up some more. And someone, you could have caught this move right here. Could have caught pips in that move. That was a nice move. And then, obviously, this became like a higher level of, uh, the highest level of resistance right here. Then it shot back down. Now, where did I get in on that? I got in on it right over here. Now, and I'm going to explain why I have this marked up like this. So the first piece of this move I caught, I saw it was coming down. Um, and it was it was making different levels. So I got in. This became like right here. This is the lowest level of support right here, right? I'm focusing on these candles right here. So let's say this half doesn't even exist over here. None of this exists. None of this exists. So this was like the uh, lowest level of support at the time. All right. This was the lowest level of support right in here. Where am I at? Where is my support level? So let's say this was the lowest level of support. For the time being right here okay and i hope this is making sense slow myself down here a little bit i'm gonna highlight what level i'm talking about and this is me just catching pieces of this trend i'm, I'm riding the trend right so this level i just made was the lowest level of support at the time matter of fact I'm going to clear this out because I'm going to say this didn't exist. This wasn't here. This is just me catching something on a new move. 
So I'll leave that there for that. So what I did, by this being the lowest level of support, price went up, boom, 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 boom. This was the new lowest level of support. Price came down here on this candle, boom, it broke inside of support, retested, and then on the next candle, I got in right in here. So this is the area where I made my entry at. Right in here, just giving you the giving you the numbers. From there, price then shot down. Boom. As you can see here. Price shot down for a total. Let's say from this candle here. Went down for a total of 87 pips. So I got my pips off of this. Now, as you can see here, that was a downtrend for me. So what I did, I had this level. You see, if it made two long wicks right here. I'm riding this trend, right? Boom, a long wick right here. Boom, a long wick right here. Typically meaning that's what a fake out. This has now become the, the lowest level of support. This is the new lowest level of support. And then obviously, price decided it was going to do what? Shoot back up. So I marked up. This became my next lowest level of support, right? And now... What you guys saw me have marked here, which I didn't take it all out, so I can I can know where I was at. So let me clear this out. I'm riding this trend. Okay, I caught the piece right there. That's done. So I reset. I reset myself to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to ride this trend and catch more. I'm going to catch more of this piece. So what's that? This out of the way. There we go. So I went here, boom. And now this right here, this area right here became my highest level of resistance at the time, okay? So all of this is old. This became new over here. So let me put back what I had. I had that there. Put back in my color, right? Now I'm just riding this trend, guys. Riding this trend. Okay. So now, like I said, I caught this piece here, right? Caught pips in this piece. Price, boom, came right here. Retested twice. This is now because it formed a a, uh, a red and a green candle. So being, meaning a, a sell candle and a buy candle. This became my next. It gave me uh, market structure. It became my next lowest level of support. So what happened then, price started shooting up. Nope, I'm not getting in right here. I want a clear level where I can get in at. Now, all of this is old. As you can see here, this is where the new level of resistance form. Okay? So what happened here, price shot up. Boom. Broke through on this candle here. Nope, I'm not waiting because I got to wait for a retest. Price broke resistance. Had to wait a couple of hours. Part of trading is being patient, right? right here on this candle right here price retested as you can see that was the retest i was waiting for i'd entered on the next candle over here so my goal on a take profit one for me is just simply 10 pips so what happens here boom i get in and it went up all the way here 32 pips Excuse me, my take profit is 30 pips. I'm sorry. It went up 32 pips. I caught my 30 pips right here. Got my 30 pips. Now, after that, I'm out of that trade. So let's just say if I didn't get my 30 pips yet, if I would have got in maybe a little, a little later, still got in, right? Well, I got a, a two-pip stop profit set, which at this point, if I had a two-pip stop profit set, move my stop loss up. That still would have got hit because now it's shot down, but it's still not, and it still hasn't went down on a drawdown no more than 22 pips. So what I'm expecting now is that price retested again in this area, and guess what it's about to do? Guess what it's about to do? I can hop back in now. Boom, as you can see here, it's retested in this zone one, two, three, four, five times. It's about to what? Shoot back up, okay? And I can ride it up again 
because it's retesting the zone again. It's going to shoot back up, and I can catch those pips again, which I'm probably going to enter into this trade here again, so I'm done with this video and catch this move back to the upside, okay? Now, let's say if this move had already happened and I hadn't got in on this move, here's what I've done now. A new highest level of resistance has been set. It's set right here. And from here, all I will simply do, like so, is create another highest level of resistance. Continue on riding this trend. And now, if I wanted to wait, I would ride this trend up. Mark it up. I would get in once a break of resistance happened. It retested as support. In this, in this box here, this is my zone. And then the next candle opened up being green. Moving into the upside. And now I'm catching that trend as it continues to go up. So, guys, that is how trend trading works for me. That's how I do it. And that's how I've been able to catch uh, different pieces, uh, getting better with, with trend trading, catching uh, different pieces of one pair. You know, obviously, knowing what you have, you, don't, you can just work one pair over and over again. Or you can go to a different pair after you get yours and move out. But... I caught this piece and I just set new I just set new support and resistance zones and now work on catching the next piece. All right. That's what I do. So hope you all got some value from this. Um, guys, if you did and you want to learn more uh, about uh, trend trading and, and other Forex trading strategies for any type of uh, trading trading method you want to learn, scalping. Uh, trend trading, swing trade, whatever it may be, uh, guys, simply because everything I've learned is through the platform that I'm a part of. And you want to learn more about that platform, go to tradewithed.com for more information and see if it can be maybe possibly of value to you where you can learn and earn with different products and tools while you're learning strategies of trading. All right. And uh, if you got value from this video, guys, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you want to hear more from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time. I will talk to you all uh, tomorrow. Have a great day.